Hi, my name is Dr. Pura Dawan, and today I am going to talk about a very common symptom that can be found in a kidney failure patient that is proteinuria. So, what is proteinuria? Proteinuria is defined as excessive excretion of proteins in the urine. Globulin and albumin are the most common proteins that are excreted in urine. Although proteinuria is often asymptomatic, but it can lead to serious kidney damage. It is an underlying symptom which can cause numerous complications like kidney damage, high blood pressure, edema, and even in worst case, heart disease. Loss of protein in the body makes our blood thin, and due to this problem, CKD patients face swelling in legs, which is also known as pedal edema. The thinner our blood, the more our heart has to work hard due to which our heart gets more strain, this is one of the reasons for high BP in CKD patient. Now we have discussed. What is proteinuria and its complications, now let's discuss its types. Generally proteinuria is of types. Transient proteinuria, it is by far the most common form of proteinuria. It usually resolves without treatment. Stress, exercise and fever are the main causes behind transient proteinuria. Persistent proteinuria, in contrast to transient and persistent proteinuria occurs in people with underlying kidney disease or other medical problems. It is an indicator that our kidneys are damaged and proper treatment is required on immediate basis. Proteinuria is one of the major symptoms of kidney disease, so how do we know if a person is suffering from proteinuria? Some signs and symptoms of proteinuria are frothy or foamy urine, turbid urine. On microcation, if you see unusual amount of froth, like a soapy foam formation, that means protein is present in urine. Now we know what are the signs and symptoms of proteinuria, now let's discuss its prevention and treatment. But, before moving towards the treatment for protein loss in kidney failure patients, it's very important for us to understand what goes wrong in a kidney failure patient. Well, there are few major reasons for kidney failure. But, the most effective reasons are either high blood pressure or high sugar levels. So, let us talk about these reasons. When any person suffers from kidney failure because of high blood pressure or sugar level or hygiene nephropathy, then the nephrons, which is main functional unit of the kidney, is responsible for filtering each and everything in your body. But due to high BP and sugar, it is not able to keep the protein inside the body. The question is, what happens in case of high blood pressure? When the blood pressure is high, this blood enters the kidney with very high force. And, because of this pressure, it strikes to the wall of the thin membrane of the nephron. And due to this thrust, the membrane starts making changes in itself so that it can survive during the mutation. And due to this change the membrane becomes sclerosed and thick and loses its function to filter out the blood. So, all these changes lead to protein loss in urine because of increase in levels of creatinine in the body. So, in order to control the protein loss in urine in kidney failure patients, it is necessary to control the high blood pressure. Another main reason for protein loss in urine is high sugar levels. High sugar level means diabetes. When a person is suffering from diabetes, the cells of nephron become weak. And if your sugar level increases above 200, then the sugar starts moving out of the body through urine. So, if this thing happens again and again on a daily basis, then, due to high workload, the kidney gradually stops and causes further problems in the body. Due to kidney failure, the kidney starts losing its functions. So, if we want to control the protein loss in urine, we need to control the sugar levels in the body. There are some other lifestyle changes where a kidney failure patient can treat proteinuria like limiting your salt intake, which can lower your blood pressure, eating more fiber, which can help reduce cholesterol and control blood sugar, quitting smoking and tobacco use. So, in the last, I want to add one simple line. If you want to stop the protein loss in urine, you need to increase the kidney functioning by lowering the blood pressure and sugar levels in the body. Till then, stay safe and see you in next video.